So, I've got my insulation. It is the foil stuff with adhesive backing. Um, I'm just going to line the interior now with it. It's all painted, cleaned, polished, you name it. It's all ready to go. So, here we go. I should just cut out the floor piece, but I'm not going to stick that down for obvious reasons because otherwise it's just going to be a pain to get the uh, to reach the walls without popping all the bubble stuff down here. So I cut out one of the side wall pieces, which is very slowly just peeling away there. Well, I haven't stuck it yet. Now, as you can see on the top sections, they're very close to uh, the outside wall is very close to the uh, sort of inside wall. But if I pull this away here you'll see that there's actually quite a deep cavity here probably about two to two to three inches deep compared to up here where it's about ten mil deep and that's a lot of space that could be utilized or will be wasted if I just stick it straight on top here We are really cracking on with the insulation. Um, I don't like waste, so I've been using sections, as you can see here, I've been using sections that are off cuts to fill in gaps because otherwise it's wasted uh, insulation, there's no point in that. But uh, sometimes there's a uh, trickier spots you have to get to. I mean, this whole area is one big space behind. So, uh, how would you get insulation behind that? Well, my way was to cut a piece to size and then by simply taking your piece and rolling it up slide it in move it about and once it's in there Roll it out, and you're good to go. Now I just need to uh, peel off the back and uh, stick it down. 